next grammar point is case and noun declension. In many languages, the noun, pronouns, and adjectives change when they come after a preposition. This feature is called declension. In English, nouns and adjectives do not decline or change, but pronouns do. Let me take the notion of declension in English first. We will take it through pronouns because in English, as I said, nouns and adjectives do not decline, only pronouns do. So, for example, in English, the pronoun I changes to me after a preposition. I after a preposition becomes me. For example, I for me. It's never for I. Similarly, we changes to us. For example, with us. It is never with we. The decline form of the pronoun we is us. Similarly, he becomes him to him. She becomes her with her. The pronoun they becomes them about them. So here you can see in English some pronouns decline, but nouns do not. On the other hand, in Hindi, along with the pronouns, the nouns and adjectives also decline. When noun, pronouns and adjectives come with a preposition, then they are in an oblique case. In case of Hindi, when nouns, pronouns and adjectives are with a postposition, they are in oblique case. The decline form or the change form is called the oblique form. Let's take noun declension in Hindi. That means noun in oblique case. In Hindi, the masculine nouns that end in A decline and their ending A changes to A with the postposition. Other nouns do not change. Let's take some examples. Kamra, a room. Kamra becomes kamre with the postposition. Kamre mein, in the room. It's never kamra mein. Ladka, a boy, becomes ladke. Ladke ke saath, with a boy. Never ladka ke saath. Beta, son. Beta becomes bete, bete ke liye for the son. It's never beta ke liye. So keep in mind, only the ending A of the masculine noun becomes A with the postposition. Other nouns do not change. Those, a friend. The noun those does not have the ending A, so it stays the same. Those say from a friend. Another example, ghar, home. Ghar also does not have ending A, so it stays the same. Ghar me at home. Ladki, a girl. It's a feminine noun and the feminine nouns in singular do not change. They stay the same. Ladki ke saath with a girl. Let's take some example sentences. In the first two sentences, the noun do not come with the postposition. That's why they stay the same. They will take the dictionary form. Ladka ghar mein hai. The boy is in the house. Ladka stays the same. The second sentence. Ghar sundar hai. The house is beautiful. In the next two sentences, the nouns will come with a postposition. That's why the masculine noun ending in A will change to A. Ye cycle ladke ke liye hai. The bicycle is for the boy. Ladka becomes ladke. Ladke ke liye for the boy. The next sentence. Ghar mein bhai hai. My brother is in the house. Ghar does not have the ending A, so it stays the same. Ghar mein in the house. There's only one thing you need to remember. A masculine noun that ends in A changes to A. Rest other nouns do not change. There are some exceptions to this rule. The proper nouns, that means the name of the people and places, they do not change. They stay the same. Wo Kolkata se hai. He is from Calcutta. Hum Sri Lanka mein hai. We are in Sri Lanka. In these two sentences, Kolkata and Sri Lanka end in A and they have the postposition, but they still do not change. They stay the same because they are the proper names. They are proper nouns. The Sanskrit loan words also do not change with the postposition. For example, ve raja ke saath hai. They are with the king. So raja stays the same. Raja ke saath. It will not be raje ke saath. Ye neta ke liye hai. This is for the leader. Neta is also a Sanskrit loan word. So it stays the same. Neta ke liye for the leader. It will not be nete ke liye. And finally, the familial terms that end in A also do not change. Radha mama ke saath hai. Radha is with the uncle. Mama does not change to mame. Dadi dada ke saath hai. Grandmother is with grandfather. Dada also stays the same. Dada ke saath. It won't be dade. Dadi dada ke saath hai. Grandmother is with grandfather. The feminine noun in singular also do not change with the postposition. They always stay the same. For example, ye kitab ladki ke liye hai. The book is for the girl. Ladki is always ladki, with or without postposition. Kagas kitab mein hai. The paper is in the book. Kitab stays the same. 
हवाई जहाज हवा में है द एयरप्लेन इज इन द एयर द वर्ड हवा एयर इज फेमिन इन हिंदी दैट्स वाई इट डज नॉट चेंज इवन दो इट एंड इन आ इट स्टेज द सेम बिकॉज इट इज फेमिन द नाउंस लड़की किताब एंड हवा आर फेमिन दैट्स वाई दे डू नॉट चेंज बिफोर पोस्ट पोजिशन Let's now take nouns in plural. All nouns in plural change or decline with the postposition. The oblique case ending on is added to the plural of the noun. Kamre becomes kamro with the postposition. Kamro me in the rooms. Dost becomes dosto with the postposition. Dosto se from friends. Ladke becomes ladko with the postposition. Ladkon ke saath with boys. Ladkiya ladkiyo ladkiyo ke saath with girls. Kitabe kitabo kitabo me in books. बहने बहनों बहनों के साथ विद सिस्टर्स यू कैन सी द नाउंस इन प्लूरल विद पोस्ट पोजिशन गेट द एंडिंग ऑन लेट्स टेक सम एग्जांपल सेंटेंसेस बच्चे कमरों में हैं द चिल्ड्रन आर इन द रूम ये किताबें दोस्तों के लिए हैं दीज बुक्स आर फॉर द फ्रेंड्स लड़के लड़कियों के साथ हैं द बॉयज आर विद द गर्ल्स कागज किताबों में है द पेपर्स आर इन द बुक सो यू कैन सी कमरों दोस्तों लड़कियों किताबों they all have on at the end because they are in plural form and they have a postposition